I know like them Boko gang will be like Jovi is the best in Africa, he's the best in the world. Hi people and welcome to the Just My Opinion podcast. I'm Eta and what I'm saying is just my opinion, not facts, just my opinion. Okay, on the other end you have um, Ambassador Ambassador, Security and Angash Kumo Adong. Tu peux donner aussi ton avis. Okay, so today we have lots and lots to talk about. Um, on my end, I want us to talk about, I want us to discuss if Jovi is actually the best rapper in Africa. I also want to talk about why most artists who leave the new bell music level don't become as successful as they were prior to leaving. And um, I want us to touch on some of the new rules the government has put in place in order to combat the coronavirus. And finally, I would like us to respond to some of your comments on the last episode. Okay, and on my end, well, I would like us to look at um, artists getting alternative sources of income and um, the impact of, um, of COVID-19 on our educational system. So basically, that's it for me. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's begin with Jovi. So last week, and then last week, or some days back, it, it has not been long, Jovi tweeted saying that he is the best rapper in Africa. Before he tweeted acknowledging the fact that he's the best rapper in Africa, he first posed the question, who do you think is the best rapper in Africa? And the names came flooding in. People were listing Manifest, Yusufa, M.I., Sakodi, so many African rappers. And finally, Jovi, Jovi was like, you know what? Beats, punchlines, and everything. I think I am the best rapper in Africa. So, Ambassador, do you think Jovi is the best rapper in Africa? Well, uh, these are some of these arguments or debates I've been having since I was a little boy way back from the Pat Biggie days to the Nas Jay-Z days to the 50 Jaru days. It can go in every direction. But the older I get, I realize that if you don't um, lay down the criteria based on which you want to classify these artists as best or not best, it becomes confusing. Yeah, Because when I was looking at some of the comments and even the response Jovi was giving, he was going in every direction. I mean, at one time he was saying his own one can make music. I'm assuming he's talking about being a producer. But the argument is not who is the best producer, who is the best rapper. And if it's best producer, then, I mean, like, right now with this whole um, quarantining things, you see various classif um, classifications of celebrities out there. I mean, like, you can have... Um, Timbaland going against um, Pharrell or Dr. Dre, but as producers. But Dr. Dre is also known as a rapper, but he was not the best of rappers, but he was one of the best producers in hip hop. So that those things where we, we get mixed up. So for me, when I want to look at, so that's something else. Producer is something else. Rapper is something else. But even when I'm looking at rappers, I look at it in two directions. There is the art and there is the economic side of things. So, like in my Jay-Z um, Jay Nas days, economically, Jay-Z was the better rapper. But artistically, Nas was the better rapper. So, depending on how you want to go about the argument, I, I like some of those rules to be laid down. So, looking at from the economic side, either way, I don't feel like... But also, as we say, rap is a competitive sport. So it's been normal for every player to work on his psyche and go into the playground feeling like he's the best, that way he can put in his best. But they should not expect the fans to follow in that their psyche. So that's something else. Yeah. So I can understand him feeling like he's the best, so he goes in and puts in his best. But now from the fan side of you, fans should not just stupidly follow because he says he's the best. What, on what grounds are you saying he's the best? So artistically, well... Cameroon, he can say he's the best rapper artistically when it comes to um, things like um, his flow, that's his ability to play along with the beat, his um, writing skills to an extent, just because I feel like the Cameroonians are not working hard enough, not because I feel like that's really the best we can get. But for him to say in Africa, I feel like that's a little bit too much though. Because as he said, okay, I, it's true, when, when he was responding at one point, he said he gives... Um, the respect to MI and Manifest, that's good here, yeah, because that's another level of rappers. But I feel like when it comes to me, things like the flow, Sack is on another level when it comes to the flow. 
but I don't know, Sam is not that good when it comes to wordplay and um, literary devices and things like that. But flow, Sam is the sickest flow in Africa. But now when we put all the various aspects together, I don't feel like Sack is in the first five. But Jovi is not also on the first five in Africa for me. He still has some work to do. Economically, I will not even put him there when it comes to business minds and um, because economically, we'll look at your money, your streaming. Like Rally was putting in some money which had come in. At times, his revenue is mixing up his revenue from producing and his revenue from rapping is two different things. But anyway, it's still his money. But when we want to classify things, it becomes a little bit tricky. So I feel like um, I understand his where he's coming from, working on his psyche to give him his best. But I feel like as a fan, that's a little bit too much. There is still a lot of work he has to do as a rapper, though. Like, personally, I, I don't... I, my best rapper in Africa, like, I'll be looking at Narcissi. Um, I also like AKA, like... But I also believe that everybody's choice of best is relative. I know like the Mboko gang will be like, Jovi is the best in Africa, he is the best in the world. Well, if that's what you think. Because I believe when people are listening to music, it's like art. Everybody appreciates art in their various ways. So if you think Jovi is the best, that's fine. But that in no way, don't, don't like force your opinion on other people. Like, I personally believe you have Nasisi and these other rappers who, like Sarkozy you mentioned, He's also incredible, yeah. So I think we'll go on a break right now and we will come back to move on to the next topic. I think Ambassador will bring to one of your topics.